with the demand in economics what is meant by demand demand means all quantities of a commodity that a consumer is ready to purchase at different prices so different quantities of a commodity all quantities of a commodity that a consumer is ready to buy at different prices that is called a demand he is ready to purchase he has not purchased but he is ready to purchase he is willing to purchase and he has also the capacity to purchase so that is called demand on the other hand we have another concept called quantity demanded quantity demanded means a specific quantity that the consumer is ready to buy at a specific price a specific quantity a specific price the consumer is ready to buy so demand means all quantities not a specific quantity and at different prices whereas quantity demanded is presents specific quantity at specific price the consumer is ready to buy that is called quantity demanded now what is a demand schedule as per samuel sun the famous economist a table relating to price and commodity demanded is called demand schedule a table which shows price which shows quantity demanded is a called demand schedule so this is demand schedule at various prices quantity demanded is shown so this is called demand schedule what purpose is served by demand schedule so demand schedule provides information regarding quantity demanded of a commodity at different level of price for example at rupees 50 per unit the demand is 300 units at rupees 40 that means at a reduced price the quantity demanded is 500 units at a still reduced price of rupees 30 per unit the quantity demanded is 900 at rupees 20 it is 1500 at rupees 10 it is 2500 so it is a table which relates to the price and commodity that is quantity demanded so this is called demand schedule and it provides information regarding quantity demanded of a commodity at a different level of price now demand schedule can be a demand schedule of a individual person a consumer or it may be a demand schedule for the market no market demand schedule is aggregate of individual demand schedules if we have demand schedules for different individual consumers and we aggregate all those what we get is market demand schedule another important observation we will make from this schedule so there is opposite relationship between price and quantity demanded inverse relationship that is what we call so when price is declining quantity demanded is increasing and when price is increasing if we view it from bottom if price is increasing the demand is declining so there is inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded and it continues to be for both the situations may be individual demand schedule or may be market demand schedule i am repeating a table 
relating to price and quantity demanded is called demand schedule. It provides information regarding quantity demanded of a commodity at various levels of price. Now demand schedule can be individual demand schedule or it can be aggregation of individual demand schedule called market demand schedule. And we also observe that there is inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded and it is relevant for both the situations for individual demand schedule also and for market demand schedule also. Demand curve So demand curve shows different commodities a consumer is ready to buy at different prices at a given point of time. So what is indicated, what is depicted by the demand curve? So this is demand curve. What does it indicate? So it shows different commodities a consumer is ready to buy at a different price at a given point of time. So at a price of rupees 15, the consumer is ready to buy 6 units of a commodity. At 12 rupees, he is ready to buy 8 units. At 8 rupees price, he is ready to buy 12 units of a commodity. So demand curve shows different commodities that a consumer is ready to buy at a different price at a given point of time. Now slope of the demand curve. So slope of the demand curve is downward from left to right. 